look. It's just kind of grungy-esque, girly. Jumble it all together and you get this. I don't know. Um, I was inspired by Laura Arelmo. I think her name is on Instagram. Okay, she did like a really pretty like, it looked kind of like a cranberry look. I didn't really get a good glimpse of it because it was just like a selfie, so her eyes were open. So I just kind of took that and worked with it, I guess. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty and I wanted to do it. Um, disclaimer, sorry about the shirt. Um, it got stained in the process of this video, I believe. And I honestly didn't feel like changing, so yeah <laughs> without further ado I suppose let's get into the video okay so I already did this eye because I was like just figuring out what I actually wanted to do so yeah this is what we're going for and um yeah <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is go into the morphe 350 pot or just take any like light brown you have maybe even take a bronzer my foundation's coming up over there or it's just the shadow, I don't know. Anyway, you're just gonna take a light brown, whatever light brown you have, but I'm taking this one from Morphe 350. Just a nice light color. And I'm just gonna take it on a blending brush. And I'm going to apply it in a circular motion, but I'm not going to really move the brush initially around. I'm just going to um, keep it um, in this pocket right here to start creating like a more circular shape and then I'm going to gradually bringing it in but I'm not bringing it in all the way because that would create more of a halo effect and personally on me halo effect um, halo eye looks don't look good on me I don't know I think it's the shape of my eye because I have a larger eye that like protrudes out um it just doesn't look flattering on me at all so yeah but then I'm also going to bring it downward as well so it's just gonna be basically a big buff, buffed out C I guess um and basically now that the brush is clean, I start blending any of this out down here. Now, I'm going to take a shade slightly darker than the original one, again in the Morphe palette. And I'm just going to mimic the exact same motions as I did prior. Now from, this is a Shawnee eyeshadow. I'm going to take this like magenta shade. It looks kind of red on camera. And it looks, and the flex look kind of intimidating. But they really don't even show up. It's just a really pretty blue base magenta. I think all magenta is blue base, but I mean, you know what I mean. You could just take any darkish pink shade you have. And I'm just going to, again, mimic the same motions as I did to the first two colors. This one, I'm a little bit more cautious when I bring it down here because if you put too much pink down there, it can kind of tire your eyes out and not be appealing whatsoever. I mean, not on me anyway, it doesn't look good. So I just, I avoid it down here as much as the other ones. Later on, I'm going to go in with a tighter brush to put it more close to the lash line. Um, do you though, if you want to do it all the way around, go for it. Same with the halo effect, if you want to do a halo eye with this look go for it girl you could do whatever you want and I also don't add really much more product than I initially placed down on the lid I just work with what I have I feel like less is more and you could really blend everything out make everything nice and seamless with the less product you have in your brush you don't want it to get muddy because it can get muddy very quickly 
and very messy looking and again especially with this pink look it can get very tired looking opposed to glam and like pretty you know what I mean so you just want to be cautious with the amount of product you use okay next I'm just going to take the shade hot chocolate from the Shawnee not Shawnee sorry um the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette self-made or whatever I'm just going to put it in a crease Put a little bit more brown because I feel like the pink is like overpowering everything and on the other eye it looks a little bit more faded so I'm just gonna take that initial light brown we took and just buff it over top it looks a little better okay and for highlight, like my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this beigey shade. It's really nice and shimmery um, from that Shawnee palette as well. I'm gonna take a random clean blending brush and blend that out. Just continue to blend everything. Okay, so for on the lid, I originally took this shade from the Morphe palette, but it was just too white for me. But I'm still going to apply it first just to make sure the eyes come out the same so I'm just gonna apply that quick and I also like it on the inner corner it's just nice and brightening and now I then I decided that self-made actually looks probably will look prettier it's like a nice rustic gold it's not too bright of a gold. I really didn't want to go like a bright gold. I didn't think that would look appealing with this look. So I just applied self-made and it was perfecto. So that's everything for the top lid and then underneath we're literally just going to mimic everything we did up top so I'm gonna take those light browns I'm actually gonna mix them and just apply them quick oh and I also want to apply black liner I forgot I'm just gonna do that off camera because I get really close to the mirror when I do this So this is the um like finished eye I love it I'm just gonna do my mascara now um, and my false lashes I use these kiss lashes number 11s and yeah I just custom them down I just cut like a few pieces off and I think it looks pretty so yeah I'll be back and we'll do um um the lips okay so this is what it looks like with the lashes done and liner and shit I didn't do wing liner but you know like tight line and waterline 
it looks a bit um weird from back here does my face look discolored yup probably but um all right okay oh girl you don't have to tell me i know i'm bougie as fuck with this stained ass t-shirt on <laughs> all right but um for lips i think i'm just gonna go with uh, the good old fashioned nude lip. So I'm just gonna take this Rimmel London lip liner in natural. Oh wow. Just gonna line the lips real quick and then I'm going to apply Anastasia's Pure Hollywood. Do I look like a mustache, dude? Uh, the fucking lighting. <laughs> See, this is why you don't eat chocolate, ladies and gents. That's why you don't eat chocolate. Alright, let me just touch up this. Is that ain't cute? No. It ain't cute, honey. Finally. Alright, let me fix this hair because it looks like boomy. Now we're done. I think it looks pretty. Um, if you're wondering, that last liner I put on my lips was um NYX's natural. I just felt like my lips were getting lost and I wanted a little bit more definition with them. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I know I'm wearing a riggedy old t-shirt and stuff, but I really didn't feel like changing, and, um, my hair is a mess, but I'm happy with the makeup, and I hope you guys like it as well. Motherfuckers interrupting me. Okay. No, but I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I hope you maybe can recreate it or something like that. Um, if you did enjoy, comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me if you want more of me, and um, yeah, check out my Instagram page, um, where I post beauty pictures on stuff, so um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. No. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, honey, no. Come on, focus on ya. F -f focus on me. Focus on me. Okay.